Hey guys, what's up? I've got some awesome ideas on what you can put on your Christmas list this year, so let's get stuck in. Hey guys, welcome back to 40 Rounds. If this is your first time at 40 Rounds, make sure you smash that pink button that says subscribe on it. That way you'll start to have all our latest running videos. Go over to our Facebook page and join our Facebook running community. Especially if you're doing a marathon or a half marathon next year, make sure you go over there and join our Facebook running community. And check the links below. You can get your marathon training tops, half marathon training tops right down there. And there's loads of other offers and discounts and stuff down there. And that's in the description below. As I said in the opening, or Santa said in the opening, this is all about um, ideas on what to get that runner for Christmas. So let's get stuck in. So guys, first on my list, and this is like that 100 pound plus sort of region is a treadmill you might think I'm nuts but bringing your running indoors over the winter actually ain't a bad idea and you think about what you're paying out and gym membership stuff like that it's not the worst idea I've had actually so check out the guys at Proform they do some really good treadmills uh, and they've got all different price points on there uh, I'm going to say I'll stick the links below personally I like the look of the 305 CST probably because it's the cheapest but and it seems to do everything that you probably need right so I say check out the Proform treadmills Second on my list is a Garmin GPS watch. Um, there's probably two you can choose from, the Garmin 235 or the Garmin 735 XT. Both are wicked watches. The Garmin 735 XT is probably a Garmin 235 on steroids. That's the best way to describe it. They both do exactly what you need. They're both awesome. Um, but yeah, a running GPS watch, I say it's, it's over that £100 bracket, but I really think that's a good present to put on your list. Next on my list is going to be a pair of Nike Pegasus Turbo. Now, if you've not seen any of the reviews out there, Nike Pegasus Turbo just seem to be an awesome shoe. So they're going to be going on my list. Um, I also like the look of the New Balance stuff. Uh, it might seem a bit weird, but they seem to be doing some good shoes. So check those out as well. The last one in this sort of £100 plus sort of region is a decent waterproof coat. Now, I don't know why, but waterproof coats seem to cost like a fortune. But it is important, especially if you're doing marathon training through the winter, to get a waterproof coat because you're going to go out there and you're going to get soaked. Um, I like the look of the Mizuno waterproof ones. Um, actually, I was talking to a guy at Parkrun the other day. He had it on, really liked it. I checked it out on Amazon. It looks good. The reviews are good. So I'm going to be putting the Mizuno waterproof 20K, I think it's called, on my list. Next up on the list, and this is like the sort of £50 to £100 region, um, is a pair of Aftershocks earphones. Now, I can't recommend these enough. If you've not checked them out, they're the both induction ones, um, and I say they sit between that £50 to £99. You can pay more than that, but I've got the Titanium Trex ones, I think they're called. Um, I guess I'll put all the links below. But you definitely need to check them out. If you're looking for a running pair of headphones, you can't go wrong with the Aftershocks uh, earphones. Next up on the list is a budget GPS watch. Now, if you've not checked out the... Now, I'm not going to pronounce this wrong. It's I W O W N Fit, I think they're called. But they've got wicked reviews. And they're like, let I say, they're less than £100 and they do basically everything you need to do. I say, link, check out the links below. You can get them on Amazon and stuff like that. But they just seem to be doing everything that you need for like less than £100. So if £100 is too expensive, which I think it is for most people, check out those. Next up on my list is a new body warmer. I wore a body warmer last year. I love running in the body warmers. I hate running in like coats and stuff. Um, check out the TCN running body warmers. They're like built for runners. Uh, I say links below. Uh, and they're not too expensive. Let's get, this is sort of in that 25 to 50 pound region now. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend yourself or recommend you getting yourself a running body warmer gilet kind of thing for this uh, season's marathon training. Right, next up on the list is a running backpack slash running vest. If you've not seen the video already, check out the video on the Aniji 5.5-litre uh, running vest. It's the best on the market for my view for the money. Uh, and I think if you are looking for some form of hydration or way to carry some of your hydration through your marathon training or running backpack, you can't go wrong. Check out my video, but this one's definitely going on my list. So the last one on this sort of 20 to... 50 pound region is a 40 runs hoodie make sure you stay warm this winter uh, especially if you're doing the races and running events um, it's always cool uh, cool but it's always good to stay warm uh, before you do a race or, or a running event so put your 40 runs hoodie on we've got the hashtag runner ones we've got the uh, keeping warm ones i am marathon training ones there's loads on there check them out uh, but they're pretty awesome and they're lovely and warm Next on the list, and this is sort of maxing out at like up to £25, is a 40 runs uh, running top. Make sure you get your marathon training tops for next year. Why not when you're out there? Show people what you're training for. Uh, we've got plenty of what cool ones on there. We've got the London, Brighton, Manchester ones, but we've also got the I Am Running ones. I do something awesome, marathon training stuff. And if you want to personalise it, get in touch with 40 runs and we can personalise a marathon training top for you. 
So next on the list is a Petzl head torch. There's loads of different uh, head torches out there for different budgets, but make sure you get yourself one. It is really important that you're seen, uh, especially during this winter training, if you're doing road work or you're running down the, uh, you know, the canals and it's like evening and stuff like that, so you need to see where you're going and just be safe. Um, but yeah, so check out the Petzl head torches, they're pretty awesome. Right, this one's a shocker, but you need one, and it's a foam roller. There's like 100 million different foam rollers, right? And to be perfectly honest with you, they all do the same thing. Um, so get yourself over to Amazon, um, check out the links below, there's foam rollers galore, but you need to get yourself a foam roller. So next on the list is a good book, there's loads of good running books, but the one as I said uh, a couple of weeks ago in a video I did is the 80-20 to 20 running book, really suggest you have a look at that, especially if you're doing marathon training or half marathon training, it talks about working at different paces and things like that, but I say the 80-20 to 20 running book is definitely one you should put on your list. Right guys, then you've got your stocking for this, so make sure you get yourself some running gloves, I'll put a link below to some awesome ones. Uh, get yourself some rock tape or KT tape. Personally, I prefer rock tape, seems to stick better, but it's going to be your friend this winter. You're going to need it, believe me. Um, then, why not get yourself a snoo? Check out the ones at Giraffe. They've got loads of designs, cool designs. They've even got a London Marathon design, actually. So, say, so check out the Giraffe snoods. And the last thing, oh, yeah, get yourself a 40 runs woolly hat. Why not? You've seen me running in my one. Keeps me nice and warm. It's important to stay warm while you're out there doing your winter training. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Stocking villas. Right, guys, there's my list. If you've got any other ideas, stick them in the comments below. Uh, but I think that's a pretty cool list to give you some ideas on what to ask Santa for this year. Uh, and as I say, if you've got a runner in the household and you ain't got a clue what to get them, there's a few ideas for you. But that's it from me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check the links below to all the products I've listed down below. There's going to be a blog about this as well, so you can have a little bit more of a look at the different products that I've recommended. Uh, like I say, always uh, yeah, say subscribe. Check out these videos. They're pretty cool. Or these videos, they're pretty cool. And I you guys are yeah.